Assalamu alaikum dear scholars we are reading a story the open window by saki or h.h. munro and in the story until now uh, we met uh, certain characters the main characters of the story we have you know mr natal we met vera a 15 years young lady and uh, the mrs sapleton <clears throat> and uh, we also came to know about a certain tragedy about certain persons who have gone to snipe shooting and haven't returned and the woman mrs sapleton at the house is waiting for them as badly as she could and she is very much hopeful but we know the persons who have gone haven't returned for ages and other than mr sapleton or except mrs sapleton everybody could believe that they are dead and they won't return we'll see whether they are coming back or they won't come back and i believe this is the last para where we stopped actually no said mrs sapleton in a voice which only replaced a yawn at the last moment then she suddenly brightened here they are at last she cried just in time for tea and don't they look as if they were muddy up to the eyes she cried while looking towards the window that used to remain open because of the waiting you know for the waiting of the gone persons and she is she seems very much happy joyful and she cries in joy that uh, and says that finally the persons have returned let's see who are the persons now frampton what happened to frampton while listening to the tragedies while listening to the tales while listening to the stories of the 15 years of age who was telling about these persons who have gone actually a very long time ago and haven't returned the frampton shivered slightly and turned towards the niece but the child was staring out through the open window with horror in her eyes the feeling a shock of nameless fear frampton swung around in his seat and looked in the same direction now the scene of horror the atmosphere of horror has been created in this para we see the niece or the vera is feeling horrified along with the frampton because something unexpected is going to happen in the story the person the people are returned let's see whether they are the they are the ghosts or they are the real persons and and you know, all the two actually frampton and vera they look towards the window now frampton and you know, all instantly when frampton heard about the persons he was he shivered actually in fear and he shivered sli- slightly first of all because because it's improbable he had believed that the persons aren't going to come back and turn towards the niece and at first he turned towards the niece towards the vera and try to check what she is doing whether she is believing whether she also knows but the child was staring out through the open window with horror in her eyes and the child vera she too was looking towards the window with horror she was afraid she has a, she has a, she has a she she was frightened while looking towards the window the feeling of shock of nameless fear now this shock this confusion this frightening moment of the nameless fear of the fear that's unknown to frampton that's unknown to him and then is unknown to her i mean the vera frampton swung round in his seat and look at in the same direction now frampton was was seated on a seat and he swung 
उसने अपनी चेयर घुमाई एंड ही स्वंग हिज सीट एंड लुक इन द सेम डायरेक्शन इन द सेम डायरेक्शन ऑन विच एवरी वन वॉज लुकिंग द डायरेक्शन टूवर्ड्स द विंडो न इन द डीपनिंग ट्विलाइट थ्री फिगर्स वर वॉकिंग अक्रॉस द लॉन टूवर्ड्स द विंडो न द ट्विलाइट is a time you know just before it becomes you know completely dark in the evening you know jab pura gehra andhera hone se pehle jo time hota hai usko travel light bolte hain now the 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 it was a travel light actually when three figures actually were walking across the lawn towards the window and in this travel light in you know in sham ke saaye और गहरे साए थ्री पर्सन वर सीन यू नो दे आर वॉकिंग टूवर्ड्स द विंडो दे आर वॉकिंग टूवर्ड्स द हाउस दे आर वॉकिंग टूवर्ड्स द लॉन दे ऑल कैरीड गन्स अंडर द आर्म्स एंड वन ऑफ दैट अ वाइट कोट यू नो ओवर हिज शोल्डर्स एंड ऑल द थ्री वर लेडन विद गन्स दे वर कमिंग दे हैड गन्स विद दम and one of them had hung a white coat over his shoulder or in me se ek ke shoulders pe had a white coat actually a tired brown spaniel kept close at their heels now you know what's who is spaniel spaniel is actually a, a dog who went with them actually as we know in the beginning of the story a tired brown spaniel kept close at their heels now there are you know there was a spaniel a dog along with them and he was very much tired and in their heels at their heels now noiselessly they neared the house and then a young voice chanted out of dusk i said bertie why do you bow now name noiselessly you know without making any fuss without making any noise they were almost now very much near to the house and then a young voice chanted out of dusk you know and then a young voice and the voice was belonged to the brother of mrs sapleton and he cried i said bertie why do you bound now i told you that this is actually a song of the early 20th century a very popular song and this was usually sung by the younger brother of mrs sapleton the frampton grabbed wildly at his stick and had rain and hat and rain rain is the second form of run the frampton grabbed wildly wildly the frampton was very much frightened frampton was very much afraid frampton got very much worried and confused and out of the confusion out of the frightened out of the out of the out of the despair he grabbed his hat first of all and then and stick and ran because wo bahut zyada dar chuka tha dar gaya tha and a cyclist coming along the road had to run in the into the hedge to avoid hitting him and he ran as fast as he could and coincidentally there was a cyclist going on the road and he had to run into the hedge you know to avoid hitting him and out of the confusion between the cyclist and the frampton as as we see frampton was running wildly on the road because he left the house as 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 quickly as he could and there was a cyclist in a moment and he had to you know he had to run into the hedge a hedge is a line of bushes or a small trees planted very close together especially along the hedge of the garden matlab kahan the matlab frampton itni tezi se wahan se bhag gaya wahan se cyclist jo tha to bechara achanak se you know kaat chuke jhadiyon mein chala gaya he couldn't he couldn't you know to stop the accident here we are my dear said the man with the white coat coming in through the window fairly muddy but most of it is dry who was that who ran out as we came up now the person the dialogue of the person actually here we are my dear said the man with the white coat now the man with the white coat he said here we are my dear we are back my dear 
and coming in through the window and he came inside the house through the window now this is the i told you this is a french window a very long window that opens towards the lawn actually and he was fairly muddy but most of it is dry and he said ki we are we are totally muddy actually hum bahut zyada gande hai you know kichad ki wajah se but most of it is dry now the most of the mud the most of this you know kichad is almost dry Now tell me who was that man who ran out as we came up lekin mujhe ek kahe ki as 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 soon as we came up who was that man inside the house who ran aur mujhe ek kahe ki wo banda kaun tha wo aadmi kaun tha jo achanak se yahan se baag nikla a very strange man a mr natal said mrs appleton the mrs appleton responded that he is a very a strange man i don't know him actually he was a very strange and quite you know a different man said you know a mr natal his name is mr natal he could only talk about his illness and dashed off without a word of goodbye or apology when you arrived you know isabelle he was just talking about his illness he was just continuously talking about his illness as he said ki he was ill he was sick he was depressed he was he was full of citrus and he came in in, in this village just to relax himself we know this you know and 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 and, and mrs appleton said he he was a very strange man and he he was only talking about his illness and as soon as you came as soon as he saw you he dashed off he went off he ran off without a word of goodbye oh goodbye kehne se bagair you know allah is kehne se bagair or apology and 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 without any apology apology means maafi and when you arrived and when you arrived oh, he he went he went off without any word of goodbye or apology one would think he had seen a ghost and aisa lag raha hai as if he has seen a ghost the mrs sapleton is saying this no <laughs> mrs sapleton said and aisa lag raha hai as if she has seen a ghost that's why he left this house as quickly i expect it was spinel said the niece calmly now the niece responded the niece said i believe i think it was because of the spinel the spinel is a dog he says ki i think it is because of the spinel it's because of the coming of the spinel as as he as he has you know seen the spinel it's it was because of him that he left the house why so because he told me he is afraid of dogs because he had told me usne mujhe kaha tha ki he is very very much afraid of dogs and he was once hunted in a cemetery somewhere on the banks of gangs by a pack of dogs and he also told me now vera is telling this and usne mujhe ye bhi kaha ki you know one day he was once hunted in a cemetery na ek bar usko you know he was he has supposed to he 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 had to he had to hide himself in the cemetery cemetery is means a you know this is marcus arshivanan ya mazar and kya ki he he was he had to he had to you know he had to hide himself into the cemetery somewhere on the banks of the gangs by a pack of dogs he said ki it's an indian experience uh, of 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 mr frampton and vira says ki he told me that once he was he was followed by certain dogs and out of out of the out of the out of the frightened he had to he had to hide himself in the cemetery somewhere on the banks of gangs banks means kinare you know kinara and usko apne aap ko chupana pada cemetery mein you know mazar kisi grave ke andar you know when he was followed by the pack of dogs <laughs> he had to spend the night in a newly dug grave with the creatures snarling above him and and then he was he had to he had to spend the night he spent entire night in the grave now out of the fright because out of out of his worries because he is very much afraid of dogs and when he was followed by the pack of dogs so mujhe ye kaha tha ki i had to spend the entire night in a newly dug grave jo abhi abhi taza taza ek qabar khod di gayi thi with creatures snarling just above him and along with the creatures while making noise and above his head or above him so it's a very frightening moment for him it was a very frightening moment fantastic stories at short notes were a specialty her i mean veera <laughs> fantastic stories at short notes were a specialty and veera ki khas sabse khas specialty ye thi jo aksar hum karte hain usually a habit 
Now this is a Veera's habit. Yeah, fantastic stories, a romantic, a kind of romance stories was Veera's habit. You Now to tell, to enjoy persons with certain fantastic stories, lies, actually. Vada vada. You know, in a short notes, in a short period of time, actually, was this was the was the specialty was the habit of Veera. this is this is the story end of the story so we came to know that oh sorry i, I, I this this is this is actually an assignment for you okay uh, a, a question is you tell me whether the veera 15 years of age ki jo girl hai whether he was telling truths or he told lies to framton Now this is an assignment for you. Okay. Let's wait for the next lecture. Till then, goodbye.